The top two seeds are out, but North Carolina and Notre Dame survived. They are in the championship here at the New York Life ACC Tournament. I'm Jeff Fischel with Jason Capel, Andrew Berry, and we're going to see two fantastic guards that not only score, they also facilitate. Well, they do, and you have to think about Jaron Grant when you talk about facilitating. He led the league in assists with seven. He can score the basketball. He gets in the lane. He makes others better. He finds Connaughton in the corners for threes. He finds August on the pick and roll, but also Demetrius Jackson, a power guard, I call him, for Notre Dame. On ball pressure, he dominated the game against Duke. 15 points, five assists, only one turnover in 39 minutes. These Notre Dame guards caused uh, the opposing teams a lot of trouble with their efficiency of getting in the lane. Yeah, they definitely do create fits, but Marcus Page is, is quite, <laughs> quite the guard on the other side of the court, and he had a terrific game. What did you do when you needed a basket? The finisher. The shot clock yeah. was at six. Who do they go to? Marcus Page. I mean, this guy's the leader. He's the best player on the team. He's the go-to guy. Yeah. But the key is going to be another guard. Who is going to be the other guard that's going to step up? Justin Jackson did against Virginia. Who's going to be the guard that can put in some shots and help Marcus Page attack this tandem of guards that Notre Dame brings? Drew, we move to the front court. North Carolina has depth. Notre Dame has Zach August is really the only true big man. Is that edge Tar Heels? Definitely. I mean, they platoon the bigs. Joel, yeah. Joel uh, James is in there. And then you bring Kennedy Meeks also. The, he's going to have his hands full. He's got to uh, he got to play well. He did a great job against Okafor, body him up. I think he did a terrific made job. He made him work. Yeah. Okafor ended up with 28, but he still did a good job. Made him right. get tired on the defensive end. So we'll see, have to see how he does. I, I think, you know, they've got a guy coming off the bench at Notre Dame that's a little unheralded. Well, Bonzi Colson's the guy who didn't play much in the first matchup, and he battled Okafor also. When you talk about 17 points, he's undersized, but he plays physical, he plays tough, and he's going to make you work for a full 40 minutes with his toughness on both sides. To the basketball. When they met last time, Notre Dame pulled out a 71-70 win. Zach August with the game winner. Give me your pick, Jason. I'm going with North Carolina. They're playing with a lot of confidence right now. They seem to have found their swagger, and I think they cut down the nets here in Greensboro. Drew? So I was wrong predicting who would get to the championship, so I, I'm going I'm <laughs> to go, uh, I'm gonna go against the grain, <laughs> and I'm going to go Notre Dame, luck of the Irish. <laughs> Switching it up. I'm going Notre Dame. <laughs> All right. Drew Barry, Jason Capel. Jeff Fischel, we are looking forward to the big championship game Saturday here on the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. We are the official home for ACC basketball. For more great content like you've just watched, click one of these boxes. And to make sure you don't miss anything, click subscribe.